some white clouds moving over the metro right now. There's a major cool down in store for us tonight. So we're bringing in Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson. This Hollow Weekend forecast <laughs> might give us some chills. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about what are you do with your costume, but it's just like what the kids have done for years, overcoat and boots, and then you just uh, show up the costume when you get where it's warm. Lots of color on this map right now. The warnings, the advisories in effect, but there's not much happening at the moment. Maybe a few light snow showers in the mountains and nothing here. We have no issues this evening. Traffic is moving nicely. The skies will stay clear to partly cloudy this evening. As far as our climate calendar today, we hit 50, started at 24. 83 is the record, 8 the record low, and 61 and 33 are the averages this time late in the month. It is 42 downtown and 46 at the airport. Pressure's falling slightly. Winds are from the northwest at 17, and the wind chill is at 39 degrees. As far as tomorrow morning, it's going to be a different story. 28 with snow showers already. So it's all dry this evening, but tomorrow morning things start to change as this area of low pressure moves along this front that slipped southward and brought us the colder weather. Now, other side of the front, it's warm and dry. Temperatures in the 60s on the southwest part of the state. And that's why overnight time, it'll be rain out over western Colorado and eastern Utah. But quickly by morning, we'll have snow showers bursting out all across the area and some heavy snows, central and northern mountains. Notice the lows. 44 at Grand Junction, but 20 at Cheyenne, 21 at Sterling. Denver area, upper 20s to around 30 degrees. Mountains will actually be a little bit milder, but there'll be heavy, wet snow up there in the morning with snow showers even at 6 a.m. across the eastern plains. Now, it'll lighten up slightly by midday, but then pick up again in the afternoon and the evening with some locally heavy bands of snow expected across the front range and the temperatures go nowhere. We're talking low 30s, once again, milder air back farther to the west and especially when you get to the southwest part of the state, 59 at Cortez and Durango, but only 27 for a high temperature at Sterling. There's the warm sector of the storm. There'll be rain showers, a little bit of snow. Most of the moisture is along and to the east of the low pressure center. It drops southward by Sunday, so we're cold with flurries. We're cold and dry Monday, and quickly the mild and dry weather returns next week. So on the seven-day forecast, 32 tomorrow, 15 Sunday morning, and 28 in the afternoon, and this is what we're looking at for snow. Pick out your location or one close to it. This is a pretty good dumper coming our way for sure, especially for the first snow of the season. After that, Monday morning is 13 degrees, 40 in the afternoon, 57 next Wednesday, and back to the 60s again Thursday and Friday.